Hi, I'm Jenna Lane, your Bucks insider for SportsTalkFlorida.com. The NFL draft has concluded. The Bucks have six new members, and in this three-part series, we're grading out each pick and talking about how they figure in to this Bucks team. Now, in the first part video, we talked about wide receiver Mike Evans and tight end Austin Safarian Jenkins, which brings us to rounds three and five. Now, if you remember, the Bucks did not have a fourth round pick. They used that uh, in exchange for Darrell Revis. That was what they gave up last year. Now, in the third round, this caught me and a lot of people by surprise. They took a running back. Running back is a position of strength, at least a lot of people thought with this team. And that still is believed to be the case. But General Manager Jason Light said afterwards that they really liked Charles Sims, the running back out of West Virginia that they took. They really liked his unique skill set and the fact that he had some of the best hands for a running back that he saw in this draft. Sims was also a wide receiver in high school. So that kind of gives you an idea of where Jeff Tedford's offense is moving, which Light also said Tedford played a big role in these draft picks. So I thought that that was really interesting, the fact that even though they already have Doug Martin, they already have Mike James, they already have Bobby Rainey, that they went in and selected another running back. But I'm going to go back just a little bit to a video I did a couple weeks ago on Jeff Dems. I mentioned that this coaching staff is a little bit higher on him than the previous one because he adds something a little bit different than that bell cow in between a tackles type running back that you saw with the other three. The guys that are under five foot eight, maybe don't have a ton of speed, but you can use on every single down and really just use for the entire game. This offense, you're gonna see a little bit more of a by committee type of system, using guys that can take pitches out of the backfield, using the short to intermediate passing game, and you know maybe in the way that the New Orleans Saints used Darren Sproles. So this should be a pretty interesting pick. I'm interested to see though how it pans out. Now, my biggest thought going into day three was they've got all these running backs and no one to block for them. Well, that's what they addressed with the fifth round pick taking offensive guard from Tennessee State, Kadeem Edwards. Now, I didn't do as much research on him. He comes from a smaller school, so I'm not as familiar with him. But I did have an opportunity to talk to one of the guys that worked him out, described him as an excellent technician, a hard worker. He's a tremendous run blocker. That was the key for me right there. So we're going to have to see the way this pans out. My biggest concern anytime you take a small school guy in the trenches is – you know, how that's going to play, how he's going to fare against tougher competition. But when I asked Edwards about that, he said, they put their pads on just like I do. I love that response. Stay tuned for part three, where we're going to finish out grading out these draft picks. We're going to talk about offensive tackle Kevin Pampiel out of Purdue. And we're also going to talk about wide receiver Robert Haran out of Wyoming. With Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.